You're not coming up. I wouldn't even try. Doubt it'd uh, take my weight, and I'm terrible with heights. Trust an ex-copper. I'm not stupid. Is that Gemma you're talking to up there? No, shut up! Only I can see her name. Your mum and dad uh, reckon she's back. That she's why you're up there. Who cares? Doesn't matter anymore. It matters if she's your friend and she's making you do things you don't want. Well, I deserve it. How come? I'll let Katie find out about her. I'll let her down again. OK, you need to go away now, so just get lost! I really want to talk to you without Gemma. Can you tell her to wait while we find somewhere easy to chat? I'm getting a quick in my neck here. Look at me, Belle! Listen to me, not her. It's not worth it. Honestly, it's better this way. Better for who? Not your mum and dad, your family. No, I'm saving them from her. First Katie, then mum and dad, that's her plan. What if I tell you that won't happen? If I promise to keep them safe until we sort this out? You can't do that. Ex-cop and ex-vicar are made for the job. But you have to help me, Belle. Because your mum's been really poorly and all this stress isn't good for her. She's ill because of me. I just make everything go wrong. And I'm tired of this. I'm just tired of trying to be good all the time. Then calm down. I'm your friend too, if you let me be. We can get you through this, Belle. <laughs> Belle! You're OK, I've got you, I've got you. Gemma, Katie, they're dead. I know. I, I killed them. I, I didn't mean to, but it was my fault. 